The global spread of the coronavirus has reminded Americans that the United States is not immune to events taking place overseas. But how has the pandemic shaped Americans' views about the U.S. role in the world? And what does that mean for the future of U.S. foreign policy? Results from the 2020 Chicago Council survey show that rather than calling for retreat, Americans remain supportive of active U.S. global engagement. Solid majorities of Americans believe the United States benefits from globalization, international trade, and U.S. security alliances around the world. But there are sharp divides between Democrats and Republicans on the lessons of the pandemic, the most critical threats to the country, and how the U.S. should address them. Most Democrats say the outbreak shows the U.S. should coordinate and collaborate with other countries to solve global issues and want international institutions to be more involved in addressing world problems. In contrast, most Republicans believe the outbreak shows the U.S. should be more self-sufficient and more self-reliant. Republicans downplay internal issues and focus on external threats. They view the most critical threats facing the U.S. to be the rise of China as a world power, international terrorism, and an influx of immigrants and refugees. Democrats have drastically different concerns. They prioritize global problems like the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change, as well as problems at home, racial and economic inequality in the U.S. and foreign influence in U.S. elections. They also differ on how to work with China. Democrats favor cooperation and engagement, while Republicans favor actions to contain the growth of China's power. Reinforced by these respective partisan preferences among the public, the differences between the presidential candidates are glaring. In November, voters will not only decide who will become the next U.S. president, but they will also help determine which path U.S. foreign policy will take. How will these views shape the outcome of the 2020 presidential election? And what comes next? To find out what else the public is thinking, explore the full report.